Hey there, thanks for showing up for another Niners video and thanks for showing up for Niners at 7 o'clock for our Niners Zoom on Wednesdays. We'll be having another one this Wednesday night, so I'll be sending that information to you via text message and also it'll be available on our Instagram account. If you don't follow uh, Youth Ministries on the Instagram, please do so. It's at Second Youth Indy, at Second Youth Indy. Uh, you'll get all the information of most up-to-date um, Zoom IDs and what it is that we are up to uh, during this time of isolation and uh, social distancing. Um, so I can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Today I would like for you to go grab a 3x5 or a post-it note or something to write on and a pen. So pause the video and go grab that stuff so that you are ready for these next several questions that you're going to write a response down for. So you need a 3x5 note card or a post-it note or some kind of writing utensil. All right. So uh, pause your video and I'll see you in a second. So here's what I want you to do. Um, on your 3x5 or on your post-it or on your piece of paper, I would like for you to write your responses to these following questions. What are you passionate about? It can be anything. Um, something that's a cause in the world or something that you're trying to learn more about or your art or anything. What are you passionate about? That's question one. Question two. What one big question do you have about the way in which the world works? So what are you passionate about? What one big question do you have about the way in which the world works? Third question is, what are you good at? Be honest with yourself. Name something that you really feel like you're good at. And then the last one is this. What do you have to give? So what do you have to give to others or to the world? And then I want you to listen to this really cool quote. This is a quote from a woman named Marianne Williamson. And she was quoted by Nelson Mandela at his uh, inauguration speech. And this is one of my favorite quotes. So I want you to just pay attention to what she has to say. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, handsome, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You were born to manifest the glory of God within us. It is not just in some, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we consciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. How powerful is that? You are born to manifest the glory or the light of God that shines in you. Paul says something really similar to that in a book that we call Ephesians. Um, Ephesians chapter 4 verses 15 and 16. I'm going to try to pick up this Bible. Um, so this is what Paul writes to the church in Ephesus. The gifts that we were given are that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of faith and for the knowledge of the Son of God to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love promotes the body's growth, building itself up in love. 
You are not only important, you are necessary. Right now, you are gifted. You are called by God to do something spectacular, something that only you can do right now. In some way, you are indeed God's gift to humanity. You are gifted by God to do something that is needed. You are given certain traits to uniquely provide something that only you can provide. You are gifted. You are called. You are God's gift. You are needed. You are necessary. So I want you to take out that three by five card or that post-it note or that piece of paper and I want you to look at those things that you wrote down. What are you passionate about? What's one big question that you have about the way in which the world works or the way things seem to function? What are you good at? What do you have to give? Friends, each one of you is gifted uniquely. For the sake of the world, each one of you is not just needed, you are necessary. You are a part of the whole. As we grow together in love. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for the gifts that you have to give and the ones that you're just now learning about. I'm thankful for the ways in which you change the world right now. Thank you. Remember this, you are loved, you are enough, and you are not alone. I look forward to seeing you Wednesday at seven o'clock. Have a good afternoon or morning or whenever it is that you're watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you then.